Hey guys, today I'm showing off my two newest GEC knives that I've had for a while now. The Maverick and the 79 Workhorse Whittler, um, as they call it. So we'll go ahead and start with the Maverick, which is actually a good looking knife. But I would have to say, probably one of my least favorite uh, Great Eastern Color knives that I've ever owned. And this would be the the autumn leaf clawed bone scales. So it actually, I think it looks cool. Just uh, first and foremost, the blade proportion with the the clip right there, clip blade to the the knife as a whole. It's just a little off for me. I kind of would like a little longer blade. Uh, what they have going on, it kind of looks a little snub for the uh, knife pattern. Um, other than that, though, I don't know if I'm really a big <coughs> Congress pattern fan with the rounded bolsters. Um, I, I would kind of, the knives that have the big Wardenclyffe blade and then like a pin or a coping blade on the other end, those seem pretty cool. I don't know if I'm a big fan of like a Stockman pattern with the Congress uh, frame. And I understand that the rounded uh, bolsters instead of square are like more easy on the pocket. But I think the square ones actually look better than the rounded um, at least. You know what, to be honest, if I was going to get... Never mind. Uh, <laughs> just move on. Oh, anyway, sorry. This is like a Warren Cliff or a sheep foot blade. Sheep's foot blade. Um, not kind of a cross between the two almost. I kind of more consider it the Warren, Warren Cliff blade, but... The pen blade on mine did not have a very good snap and it still doesn't. I put a lot of oil on this knife because uh, it was the back springs were starting to rust. I don't really use this knife. Uh, if you can see it's starting to go bad on me. Anyway, the pen blade didn't have a good snap on it so I put oil in there and that doesn't seem to have helped it so maybe just my knife but oh there it has a fine snap. Well, maybe not. But, uh, yeah, I really use this knife. I use this knife for like a month or two. And then I put it away because I just came to the conclusion that it was not for me. Um, but the, the scales are probably my favorite. Because those just are really neat. And then, of course, for the pen blade, it's got that little notch for your thumb, which is kind of nice. And I've got this knife oiled up because, like I said, it's starting to rust on me. Now, this one, the 79, I have an ebony. And let me just say, if you don't have a ebony GEC scaled knife, I would consider picking one up because the ebony... Looks really good for Great Eastern Cutlery. So, this knife is awesome. This is, I was going to say, probably my favorite GEC knife uh, besides the 15 that I have, which is also really nice. Uh, the 15 and the 79 probably get the most pocket time. Uh, I do use my Great Eastern Cutlery knives. Try to get them broken in. So that has a nice main spear blade. Um, wasn't at first, I never thought I would be a big fan of a main spear blade. But after getting this knife, um, I, I like having the main spear blade. You know, I'd rather have it a little different set up with maybe a clip master blade. But those knives are kind of like a dime a dozen. They're pretty common. So shaking things up with the spear blade uh, turned... Turned out well. I like the pattern the way it is. 
Um, spring on this one, strong, but not as strong as like the 73s or the 23s. It's decent. And uh, no problem, this is the easiest uh, knife I've had. The ease of sharpening went really well for this knife. The clip blade, I got really sharp. And I didn't want this one, I didn't want this blade to have as uh, steep of an angle on the edge. I wanted it a little uh, more obtuse, if you will. And I gave this one a nice little angle, and it got really sharp. And then I kind of did a medium angle with the Warren Cliff. But I guess this right here, if you look, that's supposed to be their new American Jack. Which I would like to get one of those, they seem pretty sweet. Or even if they did like a moose out of that, I think that would be pretty cool too. This knife, I don't know if I already said it, but it has like, it has three individual springs for the blades. Which is really cool. Um, and it's still actually pretty thin considering it has three uh, individual springs. And all the blades have good snap. One thing I am going to mention, um, some of the bigger knives when you close them, they'll get little nicks like that when you close it like that they'll get nicks from where the you know the back spring kinda curves up but this one I have no problem closing it like that getting nicks and none of the blades are rubbing so this is just overall a good knife probably one of my favorites I wish I would have gotten like a bone handle instead of ebony but I just it was good to get something in ebony because that kind of opened the doors up to like maybe Coca-Cola or something like that. Anyway, I've had these knives for a while now, looking at buying some new ones. Uh, I'm not sure which patterns yet, but, uh, you know, maybe more videos to come. Um, yep, this knife, unless, if you're okay with the proportion of the blade like that, it just looks a little silly to me. Um, if you're okay with that proportion, then, you know, it's a great knife, but it just looks a little off to me. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys.